Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a chart in Microsoft Excel and the different ways that you can format a chart and make changes to it in order to customize it and make it look the way that you want. So let's go to Excel and begin. The first step when you want to create a chart is to select your data. I'm going to select the department and full time column headers and the data that goes with them. Then navigate to the insert menu. And on the insert ribbon, there's a whole section for charts. We have shortcuts to different types of charts. And as I hover the mouse over them, Excel will show on the screen what that chart would look like using our data. You can also click on recommended charts. And when you do that, Excel will show you different charts that go well with the data that you have. And a lot of times, one of these recommended charts will work for you. There's also a tab called All Charts. And here you can see all the different charts that are available all in one place. So again, here are the different column charts and line charts and so on. I will click on column and just select the first clustered column chart and click OK. And we have our chart with the categories that are our departments. And then each category is showing with the bar the number of full-time employees. A chart in Excel is an object. You can drag this object around. And you can also resize it by hovering the mouse over the circles that appear on the sides of the chart. And also in the corners. Every chart is made up of different chart elements. So we have, for example, our title. And this title can also be selected and moved around within the confines of the chart object. There is also a plot area. This can be resized, but only within the chart object. And so if you do want it to go wider, you will first expand the object and then you can expand the plot area. Each of the individual elements within a chart can be formatted and customized in different ways. If I select the title, I can change the font by going to the home ribbon, changing the color, make it bold, and I can even make it larger. If you click in the title box, you'll see that it's basically just a text box that I can type in and I can type in my own title. In a similar manner, I could click on one of the bars, at which point all of the bars are selected. And from the home ribbon, I can change the color. I can refine my selection further by selecting just one bar. Once all the bars are selected, and again, I did that by clicking once on one of the bars, then click again on just one bar and you'll see that only this one bar is selected. And then I can change the color of that one bar. When the chart is selected, you'll notice that there's a menu off to the right, and you'll see this plus sign. If you click on the plus sign, another menu appears off to the right of that. And this is where you can add and remove different chart elements. So for example, the axis is checked. And if I click this arrow off to the right, you can see I have we have a primary horizontal and a primary vertical axis. If I uncheck the primary vertical, then this axis disappears. And if I check it again, then it reappears. We can display a title for each axis. And these again are text boxes similar to the title. And you can type in your own title for the axis. And if you don't want one of these titles, I can also select it and press delete. And we can display data labels for each bar. And by clicking the arrow next to this option, we can also specify where we want the labels to appear. So I will select center, and then I'm going to select the labels and go to the home ribbon and change the font color to white so that we can see them better. As you hover the mouse over each square, Excel shows you a preview of that element in the chart. Other chart elements include a data table, error bars, 
We can also add a legend. This also can be moved to different areas of the chart. And you can add a trend line. If you want to hide this menu, simply click the plus sign again. So far, we've done some basic formatting changes, mainly changing the colors using the Home tab. But there are a lot of formatting options that can be applied. And the way you get to these options is to right click on one of the chart elements. So I'm going to select all of the bars and then right click on one bar. And from the menu that appears, click on Format Data Series. The data series are the bars, and that's what I want to format. This brings up a formatting panel on the right-hand side of the screen. This panel actually has three sections, fill in line, effects, and series options. Under series options, you can see that there is a gap width. If I want the bars to be wider, I can decrease the width between them. Also on this panel, there's a tab for effects. You could change them to be a 3D bevel. And there is a tab for fill and line. On this panel, the different options will have an arrow next to them so that you can expand and collapse that section. So under fill, this is another place where we can change the bar colors just like we did earlier from the home ribbon. When you're working with a chart, you'll find that the formatting options on this panel are going to be very helpful and they change depending on what you have selected. If I select this vertical axis, then the panel will automatically change to format axis because it was already open. If it was closed and I want to format this axis, again, I can right click, choose format axis. So now again, I have different options. If I want to change the maximum the axis from 2000 to 3000, I can do that here. And if I want to reset it, I can click the reset button. When you are trying to figure out how to make changes from this panel, what you're looking for is probably going to be under this last tab, the options tab, or under the first tab, which is where you change the colors and lines. Another useful formatting tip is to change the number format. Let's say I want these numbers to have a comma style. This can be accomplished by applying the comma style to the data that we use to create the chart. And when I do this, the data labels are reformatted and also the commas appear on the vertical axis, which is nice. So I usually try to match up the formatting in the source data with how I want it to appear on the chart. We have now looked at how to add and remove different chart elements and also how to apply custom formatting by right clicking on a chart element and bringing up the format panel on the right hand side. Now let's add more data to this chart and change it to a different chart type. Notice that when the chart is not selected, we have the usual menu items at the top of the screen. When I select the chart, two new menu items appear. One is format with additional formatting options and the other is chart design. And on this ribbon is where we can make changes to our data. Right now we are showing the number of full-time employees Let's say that we wanted to add the number of part-time employees to our chart as a second bar for each category. I'll select the chart and under chart design, click on select data. In the dialog box that appears at the very top, we have the range of data that is being used for the chart currently. And this range is also selected on the screen so that we can see it in our data table. We then have our series, which is the quantitative or numeric data being plotted. And right now it's just full time. And we have our horizontal access categories, which are our department names. To add the part-time column, all you have to do is select the data again, and this time include that third column. You'll notice that the chart data range has changed 
Our series now includes both full-time and part-time, and our horizontal categories have remained the same. Also, Excel has given us a preview of how the data will look, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Let's now change this cluster bar chart to a stacked bar chart. On the chart design ribbon, I will click the button Change Chart Type, select the stacked column, and click OK. I went ahead and made changes to the bar colors, and let's also add a legend by clicking the plus sign next to the chart, select the legend with the position above the chart. And the last thing I wanted to show you under the chart design ribbon is that you can also switch the rows and columns here. So right now we have our departments going across the horizontal axis. If we want the axis to have full time and part time and the departments to be stacked in the bar chart, I'll click on the switch row and column button. And we can see how that will look. And if you want to put it back, just click on switch row and column again. Also, if you click on select data, this is another place where you can switch the rows and columns. And the good thing is the process to format a chart is pretty much the same for just about any chart in Excel. So let's look at that really quickly and this will be our summary of everything that we learned. I selected the data, go to the insert menu, click on recommended charts, I don't see the type of chart I want. Click on all charts and I'm going to select a donut chart. Because the chart is selected, I have the chart design menu and I can click on select data and you'll see the same dialog box that we saw earlier. I can also change the chart type to a pie chart. Click on the plus sign next to the chart Add data labels, select the legend, press delete, click on the pie chart, right click and select format data series. And there is a shortcut for bringing up this window. If you have any part of a chart selected and press control one, and I believe it's command one on a Mac, then this window will appear. It's the same control one as when you are working in cells. So you don't have a chart selected and you press control one, then the format cells window appears. If you have a chart selected, control one, the format chart panel appears. So the first panel is our fill in line. I could uncheck vary colors by slice so that every slice has the same color. If I want to format just one slice, I can click on the entire pie once, then click again just on the one slice. On the Options tab, there's a way to explode that slice out a bit. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways to format a chart. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.